What's going on guys? So, I know you're thinking, did this guy really buy another Xbox One? And the answer is yes. Um, as you can see here, green box from GameStop, a pre-owned Xbox One. I uh, actually got it on a Black Friday for 99 bucks, so I just couldn't pass it up. Uh, too good of a deal. Had to get it, had to do an unboxing for you guys. Uh, as you can see, this one's actually straight up just in the box. Uh, usually I buy them online and they're shipped to me, and so, they, so they come in a brown box and I unbox them and everything. Uh, this one I actually got straight from GameStop. Um, as you can see, Xbox One console, controller, HDMI cable, AC cable, and of course, the free 30-day guarantee. And it actually doesn't specify whether Kinect is included or Kinect is not included, so, you know, maybe Kinect's included. We'll see. Uh, probably not, but yeah, this thing was 99 bucks on Black Friday. I'm not sure what they go for uh, typically. I'll look it up on GameStop's website and kind of flash the screen right here so you can see. But if I had to guess, I'd probably say, you know, like 140 150 something like that. Uh, we'll let's go ahead and unbox this thing. SD card removed and reformatted by Con on 1111. So that's pretty interesting. Uh, there's definitely no SD card in this thing, but I guess they just mean memory in general. Um, it's kind of like, of course it's not packaged very well. Things are sliding back and forth. Let's go ahead and open this thing up. Uh, at this point, I think this is like my fourth or fifth Xbox One I've bought from GameStop. I've actually sold a couple of the other ones because, you know, I had to make a little bit of money back. Um, I spent a ton of money on consoles from GameStop. So let's go ahead and see what's in this thing. So here's our power brick. Um, as you can see, it's all smudged and scratched up, which is just the power brick, so I don't really care that much. Um, but that's a tad bit concerning just to start off with. And here's the power cord, obviously. Don't care about that. And we got the controller right here. Oh, this thing has been well used. The uh, joysticks are almost, especially this one right here, it's almost just no grip at all. Um, so this thing has been well used. Otherwise, it's in pretty decent condition. Um, just a bunch of dirt and grime, as usual for GameStop. They don't usually clean their stuff before they sell it, unfortunately. Got our console here, and as you can see, wow. This thing has a lot of scratches and smudges and stuff on it. So here it is, guys. Um, this glossy part, as I was just saying earlier, it's like somebody was just took a knife to this thing and was just scratching it up as much as they could, I think, because um, there's a ton of scratches on it. Then on the front here, got some scratches on the front. Not too bad. I think GameStop could have done a little bit better job of cleaning this thing up, but I guess, like I said earlier, they don't usually clean it up. And then the funny thing is, whoever owned this console never actually removed the sticker here. I guess you don't have to, but... That's kind of funny. And then if we look at the bottom, that's kind of crappy. They, so usually there's four little plastic feet here, or rubber feet that, you know, protect your console when they're sitting down, but this one only has two. The other two are just completely gone. Now let's take a look at the side. So this side looks okay, just a bunch of dust, as expected, I guess. Um, this side looks okay. And let's take a look at the back. Uh, I think that's the warranty sticker right there, so I guess it's still intact. I guess it actually hasn't been opened surprisingly, um, and the back looks okay. The one thing though is the top does feel a tad bit loose. Maybe that's just how most Xboxes are, but um, it does feel like it could just snap off at any point in time. So yeah, there it is guys. So I'll give you another look on how many scratches there are. Ooh, that one, that light right there gives you a nice look at all those scratches and smudges. Man, that's, that's bad. Well, let's go ahead and take this thing over to the TV and plug it in, test it out, and see if it works. All right, so here we are guys, got my Xbox One plugged in, as you can see, power in, HDMI in, and I got my controller. Unfortunately, the controller did not come with any batteries. I'm pretty sure usually these uh, packages come with batteries, but this one did not, so I had to supply my own. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and turn this thing on, and hopefully it works. So it does turn on, so that's a good sign. Um, I haven't played with the you know original Xbox One in a long time, um, and when I say original, I mean the original original. I've used a four as a six console, um, but yeah, I haven't used a you know original one in a long time. So it is turning on, and it is apparently preparing the console, whatever that means. Let's go ahead and wait for a minute and let it do its thing. All right, guys. So apparently it's prepared now, and I just need to turn on my controller. Hopefully it turns on. I guess I should probably sync it first. I gotta press the sync button on the controller and then the sync button on the console. Yeah. They might want to tell you to do that first. I guess they're expecting your controller and console to already come synced. Um, okay. There we go. Alright, so now I think it is control. Yep. Now it is synced. Press A. And nice. So let's go ahead and get this stuff finished. And I'll come back once I'm done updating. 
Alright guys, so I finally finished updating it. It took me like half an hour because I had to first download everything. I had to apply the update. Um, I had to go through a bunch of other updates. My login wasn't right. Um, this controller sucks. I'm not very happy right now. I'm kind of annoyed. And you know, frankly, it's super annoying on the Xbox One that you have to go through such an update process just to turn your console on and play. You know, on the PS4, you just turn it on. You make any kind of user profile and you can play. This one, you got to log into your account. You got to update or else you have to turn your console off. Um, it's a whole mess and in all that process of typing stuff in I found that when you press the down button on this it'll sometimes go down twice so let's see if we can demonstrate it so so let's say I'm this top one right now and I press down yep it just went down twice super annoying I'm gonna see if GameStop can like exchange it or if I can return this or something because um, that's pretty annoying but let's go ahead and see if I can play a game so first to check make sure there's no games in there and then I'm going to put in 2K20. And hopefully it doesn't destroy my disc. Hopefully it works. We shall see. Um, not too impressed with this console so far. It's been pretty annoying. I mean, just by how many scratches are on this thing. Um, it's just, it's like they didn't even try. I, I just don't understand. Why do they not even try to clean it up a little bit? Um, it's just bad. And then the controller they sold me is, is this controller is, a piece of junk. There's basically no grip left on either of the joysticks and then the d-pad is pretty much jacked up. But let's see if a game at least works. Wow, see I can't even control it because it'll just randomly goes over. Okay, so 46 gigs update? That's insane. <laughs> I can't believe I can't believe people can push out updates that are more than the whole game itself. Um, but it looks like it's working. It's at least reading it um, for the time being. You know, to do a true test, I'd have to let the whole thing install and then see if it works. But that would probably take days at this point because this thing is so slow. So there you are, guys. Thanks for watching. Again, this is the $99 Xbox One that I got from GameStop on Black Friday. I'm not sure how much it costs um, normally. Probably like $150, $140, something like that. Um, but I mean, the console works, but I am somewhat disappointed. I mean, this thing is just disgusting. Um, tons of smudges, tons of scratches, like somebody just took a knife to it. Um, GameStop didn't even try to clean it up at all. Super dusty. Um, the controller, just as bad. You know, the joysticks are are pretty much worn out, especially this one. It's about to be down to the, you know, the actual, um, you know, past the rubber. And then the D-pad doesn't even work correctly. Um, if you press it down, it sometimes goes down twice, which is pretty crappy and super annoying when you're trying to type in stuff, like, on the keyboard. So I'm kind of disappointed. I'm gonna try to see if GameStop will give me a refund or something. But again, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Definitely leave a like down below and subscribe, and let me know what other stuff I should buy from GameStop. Thanks guys, have a great day.